Okay, so I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out how I want to keep this closed. And I tried adding a flap to go over top to, to hold everything in place. I just didn't like the way it looked. So I'm actually going to wind up using multiple magnets to hold everything closed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this last panel here. So when you close it, there's a, a panel here which doesn't have a flange. And this is for by three and one eighth, four by three and one eighth. But basically I just put a piece of paper in here, closed it, drew the line, and that's where I knew I wanted it to be. 
So I'm gonna place a magnet on here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. <clears throat> Just closing it to make sure the sides aren't sticking out. Okay, that's gonna go there. I'm gonna put a magnet here. I don't have to use too many magnets, but but we'll see. Two. I'm, I'm, I'm testing to see where it's going to land, and it's too low. It needs to be much higher so that when when I have magnet on top of magnet, um, well, uh, let me think about that for a second. The magnet up here because it could just be two sets and they don't have to line up. And then you don't have that stack um, of magnets that, you know, make it stand out so, so tall. So two, so I'm gonna actually use two sets of magnets. Okay, so that's one set. And then add second one right here. So it is a little bit low. So I'm going to move this up. And that way, when we cover it, I've got good clearance all the way around the magnet. And that means this one needs to slide up slightly. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's all the sticky sticking to me. It's kind of strange. Okay. Some more tape. Okay. Go. Clean up my 
doing this. Okay. There we go. Need to ink this. Now let's work on the flip side. So I have these cut out and I think they're already trimmed but not inked. Yeah, I think this is really pretty. This is the right side. And I'm just going to do the same pattern on the insides. Okay, now I cut all these to, to fit four by four, and uh, that means that we're gonna have to trim them. But what I want to do is trim it so that I can put um, the trimmed piece right here. So that is my plan. Well, I need to measure it first. So. And it should be I thought I had some more. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm running out. I do think I'm going to run short. So I've got two on the top. We'll do two on the bottom.
and then we'll have to find something to go in the middle. A little bit different. I only have one of each print um, in the same scale. I mean one sheet. So this is repeated in the 8x8, but the scale is smaller, so I don't really want to do that. I'd rather pick a different pattern and stay on target with the scale. So we need two, four more. So that means that's three. I don't think these are four inches. Yeah, it is. Oh, that might, yeah, that was the eight by eight scale. So I can do. Two of these, and I don't like that. And I really like that. I don't. I don't want to use that here. So the rest of these, I think, are too narrow, not uh, wide enough. Yeah, I don't care for that. Let me see. I'm going to still shop around a little bit. I like this. I like this a lot. And I can do four of them. <clears throat> and that is coming from the 8x8.
this is one of the prettier prints. It's very old-fashioned looking. You know, like something you'd see on the wallpaper of a 1920s house. Very nostalgic. adhesive from the paper pack on here. Oh no, what's happening? What happened? Oh, did I get one of my magnets turned upside down? It seems so. It's not sticking. Something's wrong. I'm trying to see if it's just no if it's an alignment issue or if it's a polar issue. Ah, it's polar, which means somehow I got this magnet flipped over. So, a lesson in how to use your spatula. <laughs> Sometimes the magnet will just stick to the spatula and come out. Not always, because there's often tape involved. I have to be careful because this is the only paper I have. There's our magnet. So that's the right side. So here's what I'm going to do. This is temporary tape. Oh, it's not happy with something. Okay, it's in the right spot now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top magnet. I know it's going the right direction. I'm going to put it back between the pages and pushes push it until it snaps in place where this one is which it should do and it's ideal to have 
something plastic to push it with so it doesn't want to magnetize to whatever you're pushing it with. So I'm trying to hold the magnet still enough that it doesn't float, but not hard enough that this won't go underneath it. It's naturally going to want to um, magnetize next to it. Okay, still in the right place. And remove our temporary. Validate that it's still in the right place. And now glue the closed. don't have a spatula, get one. It's a great tool, especially if you do magnets or if you lay paper down and you want to reset it. Um, if you're careful, you can lift it. There we go. Now everything's staying down like I expect. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Okay. These are bits we decided not to use. Okay, so that looks lovely. So now that's page two. We're going to pull in page three so that whatever we do on the opposing side will sort of pull this all together. And one of the ways I want to do that is by using some of these. Um, so there's chipboard and then there's these and I can't remember, but I think, yeah, they're adhesives. They're the adhesive pieces. So I'll be using those. They're not quite as thick. Um, I'm selecting these just because the flowers go, you know, very nicely with the ones over here. And then I may put something here as well as, as a decorative element. Okay, so that's it for page two for now. Um, when I come back and we start working on and designing page three, if I decide um, to do further embellishing, I'll do that at the same time so that we've got balance between the two. Okay, I'll be right back.